What's good with y'all boys, man? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I ain't even gonna lie, I've been trying to upload my last video for the longest, so if it's like been a minute since I uploaded or it feels like that, I apologize. But as y'all can see from the thumbnail title, I'm gonna be giving y'all a recent pickups of 2024. Now, I haven't did this video yet this year. I did like two of those last year or three of those last year. As y'all know, that's like one of my first ever videos that I did. But if you haven't watched none of my recent pickups, make sure you go watch that right now because, hey, them videos are bangers and I had like some crazy pickups. But in today's video, the pickups I'm going to be showing y'all is nothing really too much on like the crazy side. It's really too much on like the chill side. Like on my other videos, I always had like some crazy pieces, some crazy pieces or I'll wait to like I really stack up on the pieces that I got. Then I do a video. But now this is just the things that i really caught for like the summer and things that i caught before the summer um clothes that are from the thrift store and whatnot so i'm just going to be showing y'all in today's video on what i got but if y'all are enjoying these recent pickup videos y'all boys make sure y'all go ahead and smash the like button right now let's go ahead and smash 50 likes on today's video y'all boys make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn on post notifications so you can notify when i upload make sure y'all follow me on all my socials especially my instagram because actually i know that's where i communicate with my subscribers the most and you know when the videos are to drop before i actually drop but hey man I do appreciate y'all for um, getting us to 5.2K. We're 800 subs away from 6K. I ain't gonna lie, we're moving a little too fast right now. We're moving at a fast rate, so I really appreciate y'all. Y'all just keep hitting the subscribe button, and I'm gonna just keep dropping these videos for y'all. But I'm looking excited for what I gotta show y'all in today's video. But with that further ado, let's hop into today's video. All right, so for the first, first, first thing I'm gonna show you in today's video, it's not nothing too crazy. I'm gonna just go ahead and start off with the bottoms, or not the bottoms, but the feet, because I don't really have no shoes that I have copped within the time that I did my other recent pickup videos. But I probably was like, bro, why do you have these type of shoes? Yes, y'all, I copped me some camouflage Crocs. Now, if y'all don't know, I'm really into camo. Like, I have camos, um, I have camo cargo. I have like three pairs of camo cargo, two like camo tops, or I had three, but I sold like one. And now I got camo Crocs. I don't know, I just got, I got a habit of like, I don't know, camo is just fire as hell. I don't know, but as y'all can see, I got my little up there. Now these are like my first pair of Crocs I had since like, I don't even know how long, since like uh, the beginning of freshman year. But I do have the Polex Crocs, so y'all know those are. It's like some type of uh, fancy Crocs, but these are the regular Crocs right here, as y'all can see. I don't have no other Crocs but these. My other ones are really old and beat up, but these shits are fine. But I ain't gonna lie, I just got these jibbers just to get them because they're five as fuck. And as you can see, these bitches five. I don't know. I just, Crocs are comfortable. If I'm not wearing Birkenstocks, I'm wearing Crocs. If I'm not wearing Crocs, I'm wearing Birkenstocks. But I advise y'all to get some Birkenstocks as well because these right here, these are my baby. Like, they're not even beat, but I pretty much wear these everywhere I go. Like, they're like my go-to thing when, I, when it comes to like wearing something comfy. You gotta keep it calm and simple and you gotta always have one of that comfortable slide or slipper in your collection or in your wardrobe or you just gotta have some crocs or some slippers of um, some sort but but that is the only thing uh, for the bottoms not the bottoms the feet for today i'm gonna go ahead and get into the tops or like for the headwear now this is my first time ever like added like headwear to my ever like my recent pickups but as y'all can see it is this type of knitted hat now i ain't gonna lie i'm kind of mad because this shit doesn't fit my head but it's five as hell like I was really looking forward to like taking pics in this, but and it's not stretchy. It's not like a beanie, like where, cause this material is different. But um, like I said, I think I got this off Depop. As y'all know, I do shop on Depop. You can shop on Grail. You can go thrifting. It's like an online thrift store, if that makes sense. Where everybody just sell used shit or resell stuff. But this is a knitted hat that I got. I think it was handmade knitted by um somebody. I guess they just sell them on Depop, and I seen it on like my recommended, and then I was like, fuck, I'm finna cop. But when it came. It didn't fit my head. Like literally, it doesn't stretch. Like I, I literally can't even put this on if I want to. Like this is the farthest it's gonna go. And then my little bro, it doesn't fit. But this shit is fine. I might be selling this in the future, or I might be trying to get another one. But y'all let me down in the comments if y'all do want this. This bitch is hard as fuck. Like if this shit can fit, I would. I would be wearing this shit right now. Like swear to God, like this shit hard. But as y'all can see, you can see the detail on it. It's like orange, green, and all these other colors. Like, that shit's hard but that is the second pickup for today now we're going to really get into like the clothing and like the bottoms and the tops but we're going to start off with the bottoms which are these blue levi jeans that i actually got from the thrift i think i don't know if i vlogged this one i got these did i vlog this these were regular jeans at first they're literally regular levi what kind of levi 550s now i ain't like these shits are hard like i love these jeans i can't count like these are like one of my favorite blue jeans right now because they're comfortable and they're just like an everyday wear type of jeans but as y'all can see this was not here before i made this whole myself if y'all want to um if y'all want a video on how to distress jeans or like how to just make 
your jeans look tough in general, please drop that down in the comments because I'll definitely get it off of y'all because, bro, when it comes to doing shit like this, I just love doing it and I would love to show y'all on how to do it. But as y'all can see, I just got a rip up top at the thigh area and then I got rips right here at the bottom. But ain't nothing at the hems or nothing. But they're just some regular Levi jeans. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I do need a belt for these shits because they are kind of baggy. Like around the waist, because they're a 33 around the waist. No, they're a 38 around the waist. And I am a 30 or 32 around the waist. So, yep, like I said, these shits are hard as fuck. Like, I literally fuck with these, as y'all can see. They are Levi 550s. Y'all can see that. Oh my God, look at that shit, focus. But that is the first pair of jeans of today's video. Now, we do indeed have another pair of blue jeans. I actually got this from the thrift as well. I got this from Goodwill, but. I actually didn't thrift these because, I mean, I actually did thrift these, but I actually didn't distress them is what I mean. This is actually how they came. And I just seen like the patch, not the patchwork, but like the, like the damage or like how it was already distressed before I picked them up. And I was like, okay, this shit low-key fine. But they're not really on the baggy side. They're really pretty much on the um, like skinny and slim side. And I was like, okay, I haven't worn skinny jeans in like a little minute, so let me try them out. But they're not skinny, skinny jeans. Like, you know how ATL, them ATL niggas be wearing them skinny jeans. It's not like that. You can actually breathe in these still, but. I think I only wore these once, and the fit that I wore with them was kind of garbage. I can't guess, so I might have to re-put this shit on with these pants. But on both sides, as you can see, they are distressed. But hey, ain't too much to really say about these. I can't count. As you can see, the wash going down from the top to the bottom, it actually is fine as hell. Like I don't know, I just gotta have it. A blue jeans, but I can't wear blue skinny jeans, but I can wear blue baggy jeans. But this is probably like my seventh pair or eighth pair. Probably my 10th pair of blue jeans that are baggy because I have a lot. Like when it comes to thrifting or going on Depop or shopping on Depop, this is one thing that I look for, which are baggy blue jeans that have good details on. For the next bottoms of today's video. Now, I showed these bottoms in one of my like previous videos. And if y'all know what it is, it is my sweatpants from my clothing brand. Now, I showed this, I showed these sweats in my video on like how I got skinned for like $5,000 or some shit like that. But I'm just actually now showing y'all like, um, how they actually look and everything. But as y'all know, I did drop some sweatpants a long time ago and I actually had them in red, um, gray, and black. But these were the other colors that I was going to drop again, which would have, it would it was supposed to be before summer. But I was supposed to drop these, but my main fashion actually fucked up. So I actually just stopped using him and I'm not dropping them at all. So yeah, that's really how they came, like I said. But. Y'all probably like, oh, they look good on camera. No, but you just have to be in person to feel them and like see how the quality really is. Like, this is why I would never in my life fuck with a Pakistan manufacturer again. The, well, it really depends on how good he is, but I'm not working with him again in particular because, bro, like, look, you can tell the quality is thin on these. Like, on my other ones, they were thick and they were good, but on my scent, on these scent, the only thing he did good with these was my fucking, my logo. Everything else, look at these jawstrings, bro. Y'all see that? It's like they're hard as fuck. Like literally, you can you can hear that shit. Like it's like a drop cord type of hard, but pause. I didn't know like that. That was pause. But look, like I said, he got everything right on the back as well with the rhinestones and the acid wash. But I wish I wish he would have did some more because like it's like just in one place instead of being all around the pants. But I ain't really tripping about that because that ain't really that noticeable. But everything else they're at like his ass. Like in the size chart, he didn't use the same size chart he used for my um, first sample. So. I was like, yeah, bro, I ain't gonna lie, I'm done using them. Called them out, posted that shit. I'm like, bro, um, my drop probably gonna get canceled or it's probably gonna get held back because, as you can see, he fucked up my shit. But that is it for the first pair of um, pants. And here are the pink pair. Now, the pink pair is worse than the purple pair. Like, I, bro, I kid you not. You can literally see the stitching in the fucking sweats and it's like they're thin, bro. Like, look. Like, you can literally poke a needle through that, like, easy as hell. And they're not heavy at all. I think he has some stains on them. I haven't even worn these yet. As you can see. He got stains on them right there. But I haven't even worn these yet. But look at the jaw strings on these shits. I feel like I got a girl can pull these off. But me, they're too small for me, too. Like, the size chart on these were so garbage. There's no acid wash on them. What are, I think there is. <laughs> Shit. Oh my. God bless me. But y'all niggas better say bless you in the fucking comments, bro. But like I said, here are all these stains once again. Like, bro, I hate when manufacturers, like, you send them all your money and they just act like, okay, bro, we finna fuck up this nigga shit. Like, that's how Pakistan, Pakistan manufacturers do not care about how your shit looks. Like, bro, 
I don't even want to show these no more. Like, these shit's garbage. Get, get these out of here. But for the next, two more bottoms left to show y'all. But for the next um pair of pants in today's video will be these Asics pants right here. Now, I actually got these off Depop and I wore them once. And these shits are fire as fuck. Like, I'm trying to back up and show y'all. These shits are hard. It's like some some ASIC nylon pants, like I said, that I got from Depop. And I think they were like $30, like pretty cheap, because these shits are hard, like. They literally just say ASIC right here. And they're like, like I said, some nylon pants. They're comfortable. You can really wear these in the summer because based off the material, they're not cotton. And they're literally comfortable as fuck, like. These shits are fine. And at the bottom, they do have zippers, as you can see. So you can kind of make it like a flare type of you feel me? Oh, that shit fire as hell. Now, I just gotta get some all white forces again, because I ain't no forces. I ain't had all white forces since freshman year. Like, literally. I need to get some more forces, but. Like I said, here is some nylon pants that I got off Depop. Now, I'm trying to tell y'all boys, go shop on Depop. I, bro, I kid you not. I literally say this in all my videos when it comes to clothing. Shop on Depop, go thrifting. Uh, you can even go to Walmart or Grill. I do more like my main four like, places where uh, to shop when it comes to shopping, because, bro, it literally is like the best place to shop and it's like cheap and it's like things that you can find affordable and put some tough ass fits together so like i said here are some nylon pants now as i know red is my favorite color so you know i had to go red but i'm definitely going to be putting some fits together with this y'all definitely see me in the future but for the next set of pants and the last set of pants will be i ain't gonna lie these shits came in yesterday and these shits are hard as fuck bro like i kid you not like literally as you can see it is these pants from the brand called Stax World. If y'all don't know what the brand of Stack World is, I'm gonna put it on the screen right here. Shout out to this brand because I ain't gonna lie, bro. I knew about I think this was like one of the first ever brands that I knew about, like before like the like the clothing brand actually started to get like big, if that makes sense. Because y'all know at one point in time, clothing brands weren't really as popular as they is now. Like everybody nowadays is starting a clothing brand or has a clothing brand. But I literally been uh, following him and like known about his brand for a little minute. But as you can see, it's just some calm black sweatpants that he dropped recently. And they're literally like the material of vertebrae sweats. Like I fuck with these a lot. You can definitely tell this is a China manufacturer and I would be highly surprised if, if it's a Pakistan manufacturer because the quality on these shits is fine as fuck. Like, like look at the material. I don't know if y'all can really see it because they're black, but I'm probably going to be trying them on to show y'all how they actually look because these shits are hard. I actually fuck with these. As you can see, you can see the, um, I don't even know if that's acid wash. I think it's, what is it called? Sun fade acid wash. I don't know if that's the same thing, but these shits are hard, but it ain't really too much to say about it other than the fact that they're black pants and they won't even that much. I think it was like 50, but like I said, y'all boys go shot. I think the inside is like French terry as y'all can see on camera but these shits are fine like I, I might be flicking up in these actually i just gotta get some i want to get them balenciaga defenders like them big ass space boots i want to wear them with these because i feel like that shit would look fine but these are like probably one of my favorite sweatpants right now and i haven't even worn them yet like bro these shits are but that is it for the bottoms now we're down to the last two or the the last three pieces of today's video start the best ones yet but I, th I don't know where I got this flannel from. I think I got this from the thrift as well. But as you can see, your boy went flannel. Now, let me tell y'all about my flannel history. I only had like three to four flannels, like ever. And I ain't even gonna lie, this is literally one of my favorite ones. This shit is comfy as hell. I think I only wore it once too. And the fit that I had on was hard as fuck. But like, this shit is comfortable as fuck. The quality on it is crazy. Like I said, I got this from the thrift. I didn't get this from no designer place. I didn't get this from like no high fashion places at all i literally got this at the thrift now i don't even know how you describe this i think it's brown like some type of beige and some like some gray color all in one but it ain't really too much to say about this like i said i got this from the thrift i got this from goodwill and i think i got it with the blue jeans the second ones without the stressing holes into it i got that on um, the same time i got this but like i said bro hit up your local thrift it doesn't matter what you're looking for nine times out of ten they're probably gonna have it in there like i said that is it for that we're gonna go ahead and get into the shirt now i'm pretty sure y'all seen this in my last video but as y'all can see we go project capri on the t as y'all know i'm pretty sure everybody knows this brand i think i shot it out in like multiple of my videos and i think it was where i was um telling y'all about low-key brands or some shit like that that you shot from now, I ain't gonna lie, this is probably like one of the best tees that I've ever caught from a brand quality wise. And I think it was pre-made 
but as y'all can see the details like some type of um what's the what's the what's the name of this i think it's i got i don't know this shit is fire as hell it's oversized i got it in a size large because i literally wanted it oversized i don't know if i'm going to crop it but as you can see it has the thick neck collar at the top as well like the quality on this shirt is really good like it's really heavy as you can see it just says project capri on the front with this green and white lettering with his logo on the back now he has like five other colorways of this exact shirt and i was gonna get like red and white because as y'all know like i said red is my favorite color but i want to try something different so i went with this one and i actually fuck with it so y'all boys make sure y'all go shop project capri like i said i'm gonna put it down in the link in the description or i'm gonna put it on the screen right here if y'all want to go shop it's damn near one of like the most popular brands out right now so I'm trying to tell you, you do not want to miss out on this go cop this shit fires hell i actually fuck with it but for the last and final piece of today's video is from a brand that i'm pretty sure everybody should know or it's not even a brand but it is a brand but like it ain't one of like them brands like instagram brands you feel what I'm saying? but for the last thing of today's video is this pink jacket that i got off boohoo man now i haven't shot on boohoo man since i literally used to get jeans which was black jeans over there but if y'all think i'm lying it literally says boohoo man right here that's the man's logo as y'all can see but i ain't gonna lie bro this is probably one of my favorite jackets that i've ever cop from boohoo or like ever like look at the details on this shit before i even show y'all like the print like look at that come on now hold on hold on hold on, hold on. like look at this shit this shit fire so it's like the stress on the hood the stress on the shoulder part and it's like the stress in the middle like, I don't even know if y'all can see that. Like, that shit hard. I don't even really know what it says on the front. I just seen it while I was scrolling one night, and it was just hard as fuck. So I was like, yeah, I gotta cop this. I can't cap. Like, look at the pockets, bro. And on the side, they got, like, this type of, I think they're stars. I don't really know. And as you can see, they got, let me, let me fix y'all right quick. They got stars on the sides, but this shit is hard as hell. Like, on God, I fuck with this jacket hard as fuck. Like, this shit hard. And I think I got this in a size medium. And it was, it said it was made in Pakistan. And the quality on it is crazy, as y'all can see. Hey, I don't know man fetcher, boo boo fucking with, but y'all need to put me on, cause this, this is this is quality, as y'all can see. Y'all boys, make sure y'all go shop boo boo. It's like really kind of like a better fashion over, if that makes sense. But yes, this is where I got this from. And that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. But hey man, I'm trying to tell you, I'm gonna be putting on some crazy fits this summer, cause summer, I, I prefer summer more than winter anyway because i like hot weather i don't fucking like cold weather even though it's better to like layer more clothes but i like to be my fits like with shorts and shit like that so i'm ready to put on some fits with some shorts and everything like that but that is besides the point like i said y'all down in the comments if y'all enjoyed today's video y'all boys make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never follow when i upload make sure y'all follow me on all my socials especially my instagram because as y'all know that's where i communicate with my subscribers the most and you know what the video's gonna drop before it actually drops and i ain't really finna talk our heads off or hold y'all for too long but with that further ado, or with that being said, I'm out. Gang.